Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited Mr. Lee Jun, the CEO of Ontology. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. Great to be here. So getting on with the interview, uh, Ontology, the large theme behind the project is trust. Trust ecosystem, a distributed trust network. So would you care to elaborate on that? Yeah, it's, uh, since we figure out, uh, we do a lot of the technical service for the enterprise and for the financial institution, even government. We find, okay, owning uh, the infrastructure, blockchain infrastructure, cannot support a real business scenario in many cases. A lot of modules still missing in different parts. So we want to build another platform uh, plus uh, blockchain infrastructure. The platform includes uh, decentralized identity and uh, the, uh, verification service and data exchange, reputation system and the signature service, contract service. All those things is doing the one thing. All the business running on blockchain not only can be accepted by the digitalized the technical support, mm -hmm. also can be accepted in the real world, different legal system. Mm -hmm. That means the traditional market, traditional industry, they can convert their business scenario to the blockchain. So that is what we are doing. Yeah. So when it comes to blockchain projects or platforms, yeah. you may say, there are a lot of kinds. So some provide specified services, some provide vast services, some provide services for apps. Mm -hmm. So what does Ontology focus on? Ontology focuses on private support for the real business scenario in different industry. Business industry. Business industry. Mm -hmm. Business industry is coming to the blockchain decentralized service. Mm -hmm. They are not a kind of all the digitalized service. Mm -hmm. They still need to uh, uh, meet different requirements, legal requirements and different uh, off-chain service like mm -hmm. signatures and legal requirements, even regulation. They need uh, the other additional service, mm -hmm. the modules, the KYC, data exchange, yes. and the signature service, contract service. That is what you're doing. But beside that, in the uh, infrastructure level, those kind of business, unlike the, the, the DApps, they mm -hmm. need a lot of huge the scalability mm -hmm. and the performance. That's why actually the shutting or the other kind of scalability technology still must have in the infrastructure level. So. You mentioned something very interesting, which is sharding technology. Yeah. And all of blockchain, well not all, but many major blockchain projects are trying to implement the sharding technology, which is a partitioning of data chunks into small parts. So scalability, allow, uh, sharding allows the ontology blockchain to become scalable. Yeah. So would you care to elaborate on how that works? Okay. Ontology sharding is uh, almost the first one can support the sharding design, can support the both uh, network, mm -hmm. transaction, and the state. State is supported smart contract shutting. Mm -hmm. That is first one. The currently all the shutting design, only Ethereum Cospo and ontology shutting design can meet the, all those kind of functionality. Mm -hmm. And uh, all in the we have a different uh, the, the, the architecture design in the shutting. But that is uh, two of the best one. And uh, also we shutting is will be launched in this quarter the, in on the network, on the test network. So that is uh, uh, key things, uh, sharding. Other kind, a lot of other projects is doing sharding, but only focus on parts of sharding, for example, transaction sharding. Mm -hmm. That is just kind of concept. They cannot support a lot of real business scenario. They need more, they can be networking sharding or the storage sharding. That is doing that, that is ontology for. So from what I understand, uh, sharding technology, you can shard the computing power, yeah. or you can shard the data storage. Yeah. So which part do you uh, uh, tend to focus on? Yeah. Our design is supported by all of it. Yeah, wow. all of it. Yes. That, that is why it's, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very so that's why you... yeah, innovative things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So moving on to the security and privacy part of the ontology blockchain. In, in the efforts to build a trust, like trust network, security and privacy is a critical issue. Yeah. And one of the notable features that the ontology block, blockchain provides is private smart contracts. Yeah. So would you care to elaborate on how the security, secure, and private nature of Ontology Blockchain works on building a trust network? Okay, trust one is two things. All the data, for example, the personal data or information, mm -hmm. we are not directly uh, stored to the blockchain. Mm -hmm. Blockchain is more like the connector or data address book. Mm -hmm. That's this kind of the connection different uh, uh, data source. So management of the data source. Yeah, management of data source. And of course, you can make sure the data source, the data is true or not, and also can manage their life cycle for that. Mm -hmm. But personal, individual, or some enterprise or company, even government, they still have the power rights control their data by themselves. Of course, and they can, through the blockchain, to work together, build a collaboration with the outside and external partners. Mm -hmm. That means the blockchain have chance 
to challenge the current centralized internet service. Mm -hmm. For example, in Europe, GDPR coming, yes. and Facebook or the other Google, those kind of centralized data, you want to do the commercial usage, this is quite challenging in Europe. Mm -hmm. But those can be decentralized easily, just a connection, and every users, they can involve in the process. That is chance for the decentralized service. What about the smart contract feature then? How does it work? I mean, when a contract is deployed, yeah. uh, the, na the nature of blockchain is, it allows everyone to see it, right? Mm -hmm. But then, is private smart contract something that only two parties or parties involved know and that it's deployed? We have a different uh, uh, the, uh, options um, mm -hmm. uh, ontology. One thing is, of course, you, you, since your personal data not be there, the smart contract deployed, people don't know the, which kind of real data is mm -hmm. doing transaction. They just, okay, show the transaction coming. But who is uh, uh, the owners behind the transaction and uh, which kind of transaction detail content, mm -hmm. they really don't know that. So others know that the transaction is taking place, yeah, but they don't yeah, know what yeah, that involves. Yeah. Another thing is we will just we will launch this called the TE, called the, the trust uh, execution environment. Mm -hmm. The smart contract running just uh, uh, in, uh, be executed in the trust environment, and uh, they can be have a lot of security protection, and people don't know the details about that. Of course, if you you are the owner of the smart contract or you are owner of the transaction, you also can okay, I can show the detail to you or not. Mm -hmm. You can control your privacy by yourself. Mm -hmm. That is the advantage for blockchain. Yeah. So ontology is a platform, a like you said, a scalable layer of blockchain. But you personally, as a CEO of Ontology, uh, what use cases do you prefer? I mean, there's like logistics application, there's like a trades, there's like data management, identity, or signatures. What do you prefer? Or Yeah, currently we have uh, several kinds of different uh, uh, the, the application right now. Of course, uh, game is a lot, a lot of part, a large part <laughs> is there. We still welcome any kind of game developer. We will support for that. And another is kind of asset space, the, 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 the digital asset, asset management. Yes. Asset management, like the Lloyd Ponds mm -hmm. in China, a lot of those kind of convert. STO, of, of course, is mm -hmm. an important part. Another is kind of the business process uh, or, uh, organization or collaboration, like a supply chain management. Mm -hmm. Or some business process, they have multiple steps. Mm -hmm. They have uh, involved different uh, partners and the, the, the participants. Mm -hmm. The blockchain can, can link that. But from my point of view, in next phase, mm -hmm. uh, the important parts will be asset-based asset -based based token. Will be important parts. Of course, STO, mm -hmm. security token, uh, is just one kind of assets, but the asset base definitely will be another huge things, even bigger than currently token, even mm -hmm. Bitcoin or other things. Those asset bases digitalized globally. So, what about legal issues? Do you believe that the STOs, because it's currently regulated in China, yeah. and as well as the airdrops or the yeah. the crypto market is highly regulated, you believe that the STO or security tokens will be allowed or well allowed in the Chinese uh, government? Uh, or the Chinese native, uh, country? Yeah, the, just as I mentioned, the security token just uh, uh, parts of the asset base, we call it a ATO. Mm -hmm. The asset based token still be allowed in China or the other kind of areas. Security token be allowed for example, Singapore, or other countries still allowed about that. Mm -hmm. So that is, uh, no matter which kind of regulation uh, exists in currently different countries, the blockchain ontology doing is we have a global KYC data exchange mm -hmm. and uh, integrated can integrate a different legal system and contract service, signature service. That means you can issue different kind of assets based mm -hmm. token, include a security token mm -hmm. with different legal system requirements for some the investor from different countries or areas. You'll be flexible depending on the market. Yeah, center. yeah. Actually, we currently talk some STO case, mm -hmm. not in China, maybe in Asia or, or Singapore, um, Taiwan. Uh, they can they can issue those kind of token for specific Eros users, mm -hmm. or they also can issue some asset based token like loyalty points in mm -hmm. China. That is legal in China. Loyalty points token. Mm -hmm. That means you can select different assets. Ontology's advantage is we have global KYC and data exchange, mm -hmm. the, the platform, the trust collaboration platform support that. So finishing up on the interview, uh, I have to ask you about the pricing of an ONT coin. So some suggest a bull case, um, putting trust in the uh, development team of Ontology, suggesting that they would do really well. Others suggest a bear market scenario, suggest saying that the Chinese CAC just imposed a harsh regulation on crypto or blockchain industry, right? So that the regulation would take place to further um, hinder the development of crypto industry as well. And 
uh, I just checked, so uh, the ontology, on token, on coin is not performing that well in the coin market. So any plans for the price prediction of on uh, coin maybe? Okay. Uh, currently in the bear market, a lot of projects disappeared, the, the existing project, and uh, uh, new projects is difficult to come out. Mm -hmm. So after the market, the owning the, the, the top level platform can be existing in the long term. Mm -hmm. Ontology, of course, in, especially in China market or global market, still in the uh, top 20 or top the, the, the marketing cap, and mm -hmm. uh, then uh, and also in the top 10, the public chain. I mean, then thing can be existing. For example, we have enough resource and the uh, input can support the other five years, mm -hmm. definitely. There will be, when you still survived in this time, and uh, they have no m lot of project to be there. And they have a chance, people coming, look back, okay. Then when the marketing come, recover, they can, okay, only few the, the project they can invest. This is one thing. Another is, we are based on China. We are one of the top, the biggest platform in, mm -hmm. in China base, and currently we are doing globalization. Uh, like the internet-based industry, China and the United States still is biggest market, mm -hmm. of course. That is still chance, a China-based project or, or, or US, United States-based project, and then plus the globalization, still will become a huge project in that space. Yeah. So survi the survivors of the bear market are going to take over, and the, the Chinese and the US, United States uh, headway over the, uh, the dominate, dominance over the internet market is going to promote the ontolo ontology. Market. They have the largest users and the largest market. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Jun, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Lee Jun, the CEO of Ontology.